Hey girls, Kayla here. Today I came up with some kind of whimsical romantic hairstyles that you can use for Halloween, whether you're being a fairy or maybe a princess or an angel or even Tinkerbell. I think this one looks very Tinkerbell-ish. So I hope you guys like these. I think they're really fun and kind of cool to play around with for whatever you have going on. So the first look is these kind of loose waves that are a little bit PC and pretty romantic looking. So what I did was to separate my hair from the ears up and I actually went ahead and curled each of my sections using a flat iron. And I can do a tutorial on just how to do this later if you want. Basically you insert the iron into your hair, rotate it 180 degrees and just continue sliding it down your hair. And then you can create a curl. And then you just continue doing that through the rest of the sections. The faster that you go, the looser your curl is going to be. The slower you go, the tighter your curl will be. And then you let down your next section and continue going. Also, if you take smaller sections, you'll probably get a tighter curl, and if you take bigger sections, you'll get a looser curl. And you can mix that up and completely do lots and lots of different curls with this, which is what I did. I did some tighter and some looser. If you don't want to do this with a flat iron, you can always just wrap your hair around a curling iron and get the same result. So once you're done with that, go ahead and run your fingers through it to loosen it up, and then pick it up while you hairspray it. That gives a lot of volume, and it also creates that very romantic, whimsical, kind of messy look. And then I put on this flower crown, which I actually made for my flower girl to wear at my wedding. So you can't really buy it anywhere, but there are a lot of tutorials online on how to make flower crowns like this. If you want to see a tutorial from me, I can do it, but I don't know that I'll be able to get up before Halloween. But let me know in the comments if that's something you're interested in. And here is my next tutorial with this little braid. I really like this one, it's my favorite. You're going to go ahead and take two large sections from the front and one large section from the back and start doing a French or a Dutch braid in the middle of your head. And then you want to drape those pieces that you bring in from the sides so that they kind of droop a little bit and it creates that really romantic shape. So your braid starts in the middle of your head but your sections look like they start much lower. And then you're going to take a clip and hopefully not let it fly across the room. Clip it into the end of your braid and then just let the hair fall around the braid so that it looks like there's no hair tie there. And then you can put on whatever hair accessory you're using and you've got your hairstyle. And I really like how it's loose and messy. I think that really adds to it and makes it more whimsical. And so here's our last one. This one is very Tinkerbell to me, and I think it's a good way to do Tinkerbell if you have really long hair and none of that short um, bangs that she did. So what you're gonna do is part the hair really far on one side, and then start by braiding a section in the front. So you're gonna take a very small section and braid it all the way down. If you have normal bangs or fringe or you know just like side bangs, you could always skip this step, but if you have longer hair, you could do that. Then take a section behind your ear and braid it all the way down. This will be our little headband. If you have shorter hair, you can take an identical section on the other side and bring it up to the top of the head so that they meet, and that way you can get that braided headband. Or if you don't even want to bother with that, you could just use a normal headband. So now you're going to collect your hair into a ponytail, but leave out the hair in front of the face on the one side and then all of your bang section on the other side, the side that has most hair. And then bring that ponytail up really high. Then you're going to go ahead and place your headband, so either secure your braids at the top or wrap it all the way around or just put in your normal headband and then create that little side swept look with your front bangs that are still left down and pin those back. Then for the bun what I did was to split it into three sections so this is my first section of hair and I just kind of manipulated it and wrapped it around until I got it in the shape that I wanted and then I pinned it in place. So there's really no rhyme or reason to it you just kind of pull your hair around until it looks good to you and then pin it. So this is my second section and I did this right in the middle and I went ahead and wrapped this and I wrapped this one really far forward because I wanted to be able to see it from the front. That's really my only tip for this bun is just to make sure that you make it far enough forward on your head to where you can see it from straight on. That way you get your nice little Tinkerbell-ish shape. But once you have that all pinned, you are done. And you've got this cool little hairstyle going on. I did see this in a picture online and if I can find it again, I will post it. Um, sometimes I find them and then I forget to save them and I lose them and, and then it's awkward because I can't post it for you guys. But anyway, if I find it, I'll post it again. If you don't like these little side bits, you can always pin them up and this is how it would look if you pin that up. So here are some other tutorials to check out. I have my Halloween hairstyles playlist, so be sure to check that out. And tell me in the comments, are you interested in seeing a curling your hair with a flat iron video or are you interested in seeing a little flower headband tutorial? Let me know. I'll tell you in my next video. Bye!